guys today's video is a kind of a food plot update here and a little bit of going on what's in the inner works of the soil in this time of year everybody's used to you know your spring summer fall winter time frames but there's those in between stages where you're fixing to change over from winter to spring and then there's that change over from basically summer to fall or fa even fall to winter i kind of consider there's another little spot in there to where you're kind of in between stages and right now uh, to give you an idea of what's going on the sun the sunlight hours here are increasing daily so i'm gaining roughly one minute a day eventually that will accelerate to two minutes a day and uh, you'll get back into your you know 12 hours of light 12 hours of darkness but the plot is already reflecting the increased sunlight that i've gotten and we are also through a warm phase that is lasting longer than expected uh, initially it was supposed to last roughly a week well it's lasted longer than that we're already past two weeks and it's supposed to stay warm at least through valentine's day and a little bit of a cool down might happen and then eventually the cold air is going to return but this time frame this little warm-up that i've kind of mentioned in the snow video this is great this is fantastic this is helping to rejuvenate what the deer have eaten away uh, a lot of this plot is still uh in great shape it's not over browsed but i mean there's a couple of pockets in here to where you know they've they've scalped it down but in general the food plot is handling the uh, additional deer pressure and at one point the cattle pressure which kind of set it back a little bit but uh in general a lot of good things are happening right now so this video is kind of on the beginner stage of things and uh, what is occurring is when you get these warm transitions like we're in now, the bacteria in your soil wakes up again. And the breakdown process of all this uh, rotting material in here begins to, to start up again. The engine kind of gets revved up and the plants start responding to the fertilizer that's being dumped into the soil by the bacteria, the worms, uh, the insects there's different things that help with the soil so now the plants are being fed sunlight hours are increasing and then you have this mini boom stage that occurs in your plot now this is not the spring explosion point yet we're not we're not quite there that's still a little ways off but this is the warm-up stage for that to happen so now i have you know nice green carpet here so i'll do a pan and i'm going to show you the difference so we have green green we're still in green now look beyond the food plot we're no longer green but you can see where the food plot stops no longer green out through there we're green here i mean we're really green down through here and we're no longer green out in the field uh just so you know i had to cut this down their bedding area is now gone and in some people's eyes that may be too early but i also have to farm so i'm feeding my hay field with all that rotting material to help jump start the hay process and uh, that will help uh, green up my fields so i can use a little bit less fertilizer save a little money and still try to squeeze out a little more for my hay bales by saving fertilizer cost so that's just the process i have to do if you're strictly managing deer this would probably be standing for a little while longer and then i would burn it off and i, I just don't have uh, that luxury here and that's kind of the issues you can run into with small tracts of land i would prefer to burn this entire field off if i had the option to do so but there would probably be some people that would be upset with all the smoke and i don't have all the proper equipment to do a larger scale fire or do i have the manpower to uh, monitor something like that but 
it is what it is and uh, that will help drive bacteria in my soil and I do have red top clover that is mixed into that field so it's in a way going to feed deer when that stuff gets going so I will assist deer by uh, trying to apply some methods in this food plot to the hay field in order to improve soil health so at least I'm not tilling at all and just building layer after layer of rotting material out there and it has helped and I think that's improving the overall quality of my deer because I'm helping the soil beyond the food plot so again we're back here and this is where I have done the most soil restoring and it really shows by just the level of green now this is another thing that you may not think of but the green color in their plants often indicates protein levels so usually the deeper the green the higher the protein so that means now my food plot now that it's uh you know really greening up here my protein levels are rising every time it warms up and that means my deer that come back here are going to get a little more protein than maybe they did the last trip or maybe more protein than what they had a week ago so i'm still ramping up nutrition because of this warm spell now my soybean is it's being demolished faster than i anticipated uh, that means I've actually got more deer in here. And, of course, the cattle did cause some destruction in here, which kind of sped that process up a little bit. But I figure I've got uh, another two weeks left, maybe two and a half weeks left, and the soybean pods are probably going to be done. And that means then it's going to be pure greenery. So the deer's diet is... You know really focusing between the two right now and it's at that in between stage where they're ready to start eating leafy greens more than the grains it's it's getting there it's not quite there yet but this food plot is built on timing purposes through mother nature and as the plot continues to uh, grow greens i am catering to the deer's diet that way so when spring rolls around, they're, they're pretty much done with the grains unless you do a supplemental feeding program where you have peanuts and roasted soybeans. Uh, you can still use grains to your advantage then. Uh, but in general, the deer are going to be after the greenery. And that includes uh, tree sprouts, uh, buds. Uh, if you have a savanna habitat, you know, you've got all kinds of species that'll be uh, kicking into gear and growing and that is why this food plot is basically designed that way uh, so if you're a beginner and you're trying to figure some things out that if you plant your plot to serve both green and grain you're creating what I consider a timely food plot and deer will start eating more greens when it gets warm so you're catering to that end of the deer and then when it gets really cold i'm catering to the grain side of things when the greens don't taste nearly as good as when it's warm all right guys so that's kind of a overview of the food plot here if you like this content hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell if you want more of these videos but eventually this plot will be uh, deeper than I am tall and it's got a ways to go that's why we're not in the spring explosion yet and uh, when we start uh, increasing more and more growth I will help you follow along with this as the plot begins to change more and more and then you're going to start seeing uh, deer uh, not hit a lot of these species once they get more maturity on them and you'll see what I'm talking about when we get to that point. Or you can go check out my um, cereal rye pro and con video. You'll find out that not all of this is going to make it through the growing stage. And it's just going to be browsed on all the time. So you all have a great day. And I hope this video helps.